Manny, this is the Dymo Mimeo View, and uh, it's a document camera. For Mimeo View, it starts off with the setup. So if we take this, one of the first things you'll notice is the back doesn't have a bunch of connections, it only has one, and has a USB connection, and we use a USB connection for power and to communicate with the PC. So in order for you to set this device up, you just take your USB cable, plug it in, and there's no drivers to install, and you're now ready to use your document camera. The biggest button is our view button. So in order to start using your camera, you just press this button, and what will happen is it'll automatically launch the software over on the PC, automatically turn on these lights, and then automatically focus on any object that's underneath the camera at that time. So you'll notice that there are three buttons on here. Um, these are the three most common operations. The first button is autofocus. Um, in the event that you move the camera or you want to focus um, you know, on something else, you hit that button. The second button is rotate. Rotate will allow you to rotate whatever's under the camera in 90 degree increments. So you can go 90 or 180. And then the last button is pause, which allows you to freeze whatever's currently under the camera. So if you had something that was moving or moving quickly underneath and you wanted to freeze that frame, you just click that button to freeze it, click it again to unfreeze it. And then when you're done using the camera, you can just click the button again and we'll shut everything down and shut down the software on your PC. Another thing you'll notice is the camera, you know, it has the arc design, it fits into our product family. And what's really neat about the camera is as the arc comes to the front, you can actually use that as an alignment edge to line up a piece of paper or a book. So on the Mimeo view, once I hit the view button, it'll automatically launch the software. Once the software is launched, it'll tell the camera to turn on its lights and to begin focusing on whatever object is sitting under the view. So there we go, we have a picture of this book. Um, then directly from the software, you're gonna notice I'm have some additional controls. So this book looks a little bit bright over here, so I can control the lights. Um, I can also rotate the image directly from the whiteboard. I can freeze it if I want to. And what's also really neat is we've incorporated the exact same tools inside of this view application as we have in the Mimeo notebook. So for example, if we want to zoom in, it's the exact same sort of tools to zoom in. And we've gone even further, and with the Mimeo tools, I can use the exact same set of tools to annotate directly on top of images. Um, you can also use the Mimeo view with um, any microscope, and the way you do that is you have this microscope uh, adapter. You just connect it to the camera like so. Okay. And then we focus in on the image beneath, and now you're using Mimeo view with a microscope. So here we have an image from, um, from Mimeo view um, connected to a microscope. Um, I'm going to freeze this image, and then I'm going to go over here to our zoom tool. And I'm going to zoom in on this particular area. 